Hey everyone, this is J Dog, and I'm here with another video. I think a while back I did a video talking about how Florida has passed or is passing laws to allow teachers to arm themselves with weapons. This comes as a response to all these school shootings that are happening by these mass shooters. But many people, and rightfully so, says that this was a bad idea because what if the teacher gets all frustrated and ends up shooting the wrong, an unarmed student? Well, that is the case, especially when the student happens to be a black student. I say this because this article from the Miami Herald had titled were by Shervin Jones and I believe this is him right here not only that he's actually a state representative in Florida House District 101 Florida legislator he's warning the public that black boys well let's just say black kids in general will be the primary target if teachers bring guns in the classrooms. That's right. We've already seen in some videos how black students are not only getting attacked by bullies and by cops who show up there, but also they're being attacked by teachers. Teachers have, uh, race, especially racist teachers, have been attacking black students. Now, and this is without guns but now we're gonna actually give them the guns I don't even really need to read this article I'm just showing you the title because this is what's happening I mean you have black students and black adults black people in general they already have to deal with race soldiers attacking them or just random races who are in general. Um, in Florida, they already know that George Zimmerman killed Trayvon Martin. Um, and not to mention that's also the same place that has the stand your ground laws. Now, with teachers being armed, basically, quitting George Zimmerman gives them the okay to kill more black people. You got the stand your ground laws. You got already race soldiers you got teachers already attacking students and then now you're going to add on that they're allowed to be strapped with guns in the classrooms i bet you none of those teachers are going to end up still be able to shoot the actual student i bet you if they see if that student it looks like them and they're white, they're going to most likely not shoot them the way that they'll probably shoot at an unarmed black person. Matter of fact, I'm going to play this video real quick right here instead of reading the entire article. So, And by the way, this is the same, that same legislator. He's talking about the issue and some racist GOP representative called him a racist when he's act when this guy right here is actually telling the truth but let's play the video shall we talking about black boys and girls who are getting murdered by police officers i'm really lost for words and i need to calm myself down real quick that some of us have that some of you on the front row can care less about because not one time not once did I say anyone in this house was a racist not one time so let me quote myself on that the reality 
reality is I filed this amendment dealing with stand your ground because it's a reality for some of us when we go back into our districts. You can look at me crazy. You can say whatever you want to say, but a reality that many of us go back home to was a teacher who has a gun in her hand. We're talking about black boys and girls. That's who I filed this amendment for. Don't call me a racist. I'm the one who's fighting for a district for the people I represent. implicit bias training because we're talking about black boys and girls who are getting murdered by police officers. There's bad police officers and there's bad teachers. I've never called them a racist, but I'm giving you reality. I talk about my nephews often. Because that's the reality I go home to. I go have children. If you get called a racist and said that that came out of my mouth, it's insulting. I found this amendment because students go to school on a daily basis, and yes, you might have some good teachers, but damn, you got some bad ones too. And the reason I found it is because there's a protection to ensure that individuals who might not look at me like they look at you, who might not look at that boy who have a dress in his hair and might be intimidated by him, I say a speech for him. Every last one of you in this chamber, I shall love to you because I love you. I do, but I fight for the people I fight for. I don't care what you do with that boy. Go tell me a minute for all I care. But don't insult me for fighting for the people of Syria. All right. That's all I got to say. And of course, you saw at the end, yeah, they voted down his amendment. Of course they would. And that's also why more black parents are starting to wanting to homeschool take them to black owned schools like afrocentric schools that i've been hearing about and that's why some black parents are saying that they're going to take their kids out of this out of the certain schools by any means necessary you hear about that now and that's because of situations like the risk of army teachers will end up killing black students, even if the black student is um, innocent. I will leave a link to this video, and if y'all still want to have the article, um, look at the article, even though I've decided um, this would be more, way more than just reading that article, I will still leave a link to it in the description box and comment section but yeah what he's saying is true our people will be more of the victims will be more likely to be shot than the mass shooters you know majority of these mass shooters have been white so it'll, they'll be most likely less shot at than black unarmed black students but i want to know what y'all think in the comment section below write down in the comment section make sure you like this video share this video um if you have yet to subscribe please subscribe and hit that notification bell if you have not been getting notifications unsubscribe and resubscribe and re-hit that notification bell also make sure once again to like that video I will leave a link to that article and to this video in the description box and comment section. But that's all I have to say for now. Um, make sure you all protect your children as much as possible. This is J-Dog. Thanks for watching and I hope to catch you all in another video. Peace everyone.